Hi, this is Kenneth Chan, IT officer at Apache College. Today, I wanted to show you some basic photo and video recording tools on Windows 10 that are built in, they're free, and they really are just the most straightforward way to make a quick video. So first, in order to find the camera app, it's very simple. You can open up the start menu and find camera right there. You can launch it. Just like that. So you have these apps right here. Another way you can find it is in the search bar right here. You can also just type camera. It should be one of the first options that pops up. Here you see the default mode is the camera or photo mode. And um, unless you've used it already for video, that is going to be the mode that it starts with. One of the uh, big uh, gotchas that can um, really mess you up is if you think you're recording a video and you're actually in the photo mode, you'll hit the record button once, start talking. Maybe you'll speak for a couple minutes and then you'll hit the button again to stop and realize at the end that you've only taken two photos, one at the beginning and one at the end of your lecture. So you don't wanna do that. So make sure first things first to check whether you're in video or photo mode. This means I'm in the photo mode if the big button is says take photo. If you swap over to video, you'll see that the big button now says take video. And you'll see that this button looks supposed to look like a little bit more like a camcorder maybe. So anyway, this is the record mode here for video. Okay, so we'll do a quick uh, test recording right here. So again, I'm gonna make sure I'm in the take video mode. I'm gonna click it once to start recording and then click it again when I'm done. Hi, this is Kenneth Chan. Welcome to class. In this uh, lesson, I will be teaching you about one, two, and three. So enjoy. Okay, so I've recorded that video. And just as, uh, just so I have something else to look at, let's say I didn't like that take, I wanted to do it again. You can immediately record again. You can just go ahead and do that. So you see that there's one video down here already in the camera roll, but uh, we can go ahead and do a second one. Hi, this is Kenneth Chan on take two of my video. You don't actually have to say that for your videos because people won't know so long as you don't publish the other one. So welcome, welcome again to class and uh, we'll be using this video for our lesson today. Okay, so I went ahead and hit stop. So under my camera roll, if I click on it, you'll be able to see that this is video two of two, okay? Another thing that you'll see is it should look flipped. You might um, feel a little bit confused at the moment. Hey, how come it looks different from what I just recorded? It's because it's actually the flipped version of the video as your audience would see it and not the mirrored version as you would see it, okay? So if you needed to test, you can of course play it back. Hi, this is Kenneth Chan on take two of my video. You don't actually have to say that for your videos because people won't know so long as you don't publish the other one. So welcome, welcome again to class. Uh, if you're done with your recordings, you can go ahead and quit out of this. Again, under your camera roll, here's uh, all of my stuff. Uh, if you needed to find it from scratch, you could potentially just go to your file explorer. It's usually under your pictures folder. So starting from this PC, C drive, most likely under your users, find your username and find your pictures folder and it's under your camera roll okay so here it is again um, and you can uh, figure out which one it is lesson one okay so this ends our segment on how to record video using the built-in camera and video tools in windows 10.